How's it going everyone? This is Daniel and in this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla stock. We're going to go over a look at exactly what to expect for Tesla stock next week. We have very, very important announcements coming out next week. So we're going to talk about what these announcements are. And we're also going to go over and look at exactly why the overall stock market sold off aggressively today. So make sure you stay tuned. We're going to cover all this important information in this video coming up. As you can see over here, we have Tesla stock today is sitting at $870.76. We're down 0.77%. As you can see, we were doing pretty good in the morning. Unfortunately, we sold off aggressively as the day went on. So for the week, we had a lot of drama with Tesla stock. We had this huge sell off that happened out of nowhere. And then we had a huge sell off that happened out of nowhere. And then yesterday we had the confirmation that Elon Musk was actually selling shares. Now let's go over and look at exactly what happened with the overall stock market. As you can see over here, it is pretty ugly today. We got Amazon that is down 14.05%. This stock was the leader. They announced their earnings yesterday. We also have earnings from Apple down 3.66%. Microsoft down. Tesla was actually holding strong. We're only down 0.77% percent so almost 99 percent of the stock market sold off to the downside today so let's talk about it why this is happening as you can see here we have the s p 500 etf that sold off aggressively today down more than three percent we broke down the support that we had over here so the next support is going to be 409 so we created this low over here based off of what was going on with russia and ukraine we had this aggressive sell-off and a bounce back off of this level. So definitely keep an eye on the 409 level for the S&P 500 for the SPY ETF. So let's go over the top stocks of the week. So we have Twitter, which is only down 0.18%. They announced their earnings. It was pretty bad. And also they mentioned that they're not gonna be providing any kind of guidance based off of what's going on with the deals. So that's the only information that we got from them. And also Apple. You know, Apple is a company that a lot of people are invested in. They beat their earnings. It was phenomenal numbers. They also announced share buybacks, but unfortunately they did not provide guidance. That's why the stock sold off after hours on the earnings call when they mentioned that they're not gonna be providing any kind of guidance. And now when you look at Amazon, Amazon is the one that was leading the sell off today. It sold off aggressively, even though we know that there's, gonna, there's a stock split coming up the earnings was not good and also when you look at facebook on the other hand this was a stock that people were expecting i was also expecting that facebook might potentially go down as you can see it actually bounced pretty good and it today is only sold off 2.58 percent this is mainly because they actually showed user growth last time they had their earnings call they had a decline in the users and they mentioned also TikTok being their competitor. So that was pretty bad for Facebook during the last quarter. They dropped aggressively, but right now seems like people are joining Facebook around the world. But in the US, people are actually enjoying a TikTok when you look at the data. So let's go over and look at now Tesla stock. So Tesla stock, of course, is the one that we've been talking about the past few days. As you can see, we had this massive drop that happened because of Elon Musk selling his shares. Right now, he said he's done selling, so he sold $8 billion worth of shares. But let me tell you, if it was another company, if the CEO comes out and announces that they sold more than $8 billion shares, I guarantee you the stock would be down significantly. But Tesla is doing relatively good compared to other companies. I can assure you that. We also have Microsoft that announced their earnings report this week. We talked about that a few days ago that Elon Musk confirmed that Bill Gates has a short position on Tesla. He probably had a good opportunity to cover his short position based off of the massive price fluctuations that we saw this week. So Microsoft also had a pretty phenomenal earnings, but unfortunately it sold off today with the overall stock market going down 4.18% today. So Google also, unfortunately they had issues with YouTube the YouTube revenue did not grow as they expected, so the stock actually sold off to the downside on earnings. And right now, it's actually selling off just like with the overall stock market, which is down 3.72%. So let's talk about why this is happening and what to expect for next week. So we have the FOMC meeting coming up next week. 
and there's a potential rate hike that is coming up that is happening for sure but of course we have the gdp data that came out also yesterday that was pretty bad so we're actually negative 1.4 percent so the economy shrank so when you go in detail and look at those numbers there are actually some really important numbers that we need to focus and the fed is going to potentially be focusing which is consumer spending so we have inflation that was pretty high However, people are still buying things, they're spending money, they have the cash, that's indicating that the economy is actually stronger. So the number got really skewed mainly because of what the U.S. was doing based off of imports and exports. The U.S. imported a lot of goods compared to what they exported. So that's what they're saying that this huge drop came. So the Federal Reserve also knows that. So I don't think they're not going to change anything when it comes to by how much they're going to be increasing interest rates or they're going to change their minds. They are going to be raising interest rates, but we're going to be getting more information, more detail about that next week. And that's why the stock market is really preparing and investors are not really preparing you know, for next week. They're actually closing out their positions. They don't want to get involved in all this crazy market volatility. And also there's a huge fear of recession based off of the data that we're getting. There is a very likelihood of a recession happening in 2022 or in 2023, at the end of 2022 or in 2023. So that is just going to be what is happening with the overall stock market and also why the stock market actually sold off aggressively today too. We have, you know, Amazon down 14%. It's probably going to be carrying some of the Nasdaq and also the overall stock market with it to the downside too. So let me know in the comments section below. What do you think? What's, what's going to happen next week? We're getting a phenomenal opportunity for people that want to invest or that want to buy for long term. If you want to buy smaller shares here and there, of course, this is a great opportunity. We're seeing a lot of discounts across the board. It doesn't matter what you want to buy. There is discounts, especially for big tech companies and also high growth stocks they have been crushed massively so that's a great time to nibble if you want to buy just i do not recommend people to just buy if they want if you want to buy like 100 shares of something just try to buy like 10 shares you know slowly average down if it goes down aggressively to the downside because you don't know what's going to be happening as i mentioned there might potentially be a recession and the stock market might actually go down based off of that so let me know in the comments section below what's your plan if you have any cash saved up to invest in tesla or other stocks let me know in the comments section below but i catch you guys on another video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh have a wonderful weekend